afternoon YouTube so I'm gardening I am out here weeding my garden so I can you know have a proper garden this is probably going to take me a couple days to do because I have neglected I haven't weeded it in a while and a dog was in here and knocked over my plant look at that my zucchinis now showing to the Sun but this is what it looks like Okay, I already started working some. I should have took this video earlier. But, oh, it's a daunting task. As you can tell, I started on my tomatoes already. I'm going to rake it all out and then I'm going to put some, I'm going to put some straw or hay on the top of it to keep the weeds from growing back up. But, this is one heck of a mess. You guys never, ever ever let your garden go this long without being weeded it is disgusting it is horrible yeah you can hardly tell which ones are my plants versus the grass such an embarrassment on a side note i have been picking up i don't know what they were called i think they're I don't remember okay I was a little bitty when I was taught how to eat these that you could eat these and um, I think they were called sheep sours or something or another they're just little clovers they're really sour but you could eat them they're really good they're sour I don't know just reminds me when I was a little kid and I was in Arkansas with my grandma. I think we were in Darnell, Arkansas. And she showed us these and I was like, you can't eat those. And she's like, yes, you can watch. And she ate one and so we all ate them. And ever since then, I've taught my kids to eat them. I haven't taught my grandson yet because I haven't seen him that much since he lives in Wisconsin and I'm in Oklahoma. But when he comes down here, if these are around still, you can bet I'm gonna show him how to eat these. I am a big person for showing people how to eat food out of the yard. If I know they're good, I know these are good. The flowers right there are like the best. That was a sour bite. But they're so good. Okay, I've had my break. Now I'm gonna go back to weeding my garden. I'm talking with my mouth full. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll update you guys on progress. Bye, guys. Okay, so I'm about mm, an hour into my weeding. It looks a whole lot better. I don't know if you guys can really tell the difference. But back here, it looks really, really good. I started on the green beans. And then I'm off to the squashes. Make sure I'm not stepping on any okra. It's still small. And then I'm gonna get all the zucchini and squashes done because this is, this is a bad, horrible area. I don't know if I'll be able to get it all done tonight. If not, I'll continue on tomorrow. But I'm just trucking along. Today I gotta go get tonight. After my husband gets home so I have a ride because my kids have my truck. Um, I'm gonna go get some hay so I can put down and then I'm gonna water tonight using I have to go pick up some more of these milk jugs but these are my self-watering milk jugs so what I do is I just pour water in them and they have a small hole at the bottom there's a rock in them there's a small hole underneath there and the rocks to keep them from moving and just it just drains slowly on my tomato plant, so it, this way it doesn't, the water doesn't just run off. It soaks and saturates the ground underneath them. Satch, yeah, anyways. Anyways, I actually broke a sweat out here. It is warm. It is way too warm out here. It is June, though. 54 degrees this morning. I don't know how much it is today. Probably like 85 but, well, I just want to show you guys the progress. Moving right along. 
my chickens are enjoying the scraps I threw out for them. They're going through them, picking out whatever they want. So at least it's not going to waste. I <sighs> guess I'll just keep moving on along, getting this done. I'll show you guys progress again later. Okay, so it is the next day. It is hot once again, but I have finished a garden. Ta-da! I've added hay down to keep the weeds at a minimum. I still need at least one more bale, which is at my daughter's. But I have weeded. I'm gonna water this evening. Put all this hay down. Today, it's going to help keep the ground cooler, the moisture in it, and it should really, really help my plants now. It's a little thick, but it will settle down. It was well worth being hot because now my garden's going to be happy. Yes, I'm happy. Very happy. Look at these wonderful gigantic blooms here. Look at them, they're so pretty. This is two tomatoes in one. I know I have another one, I've seen another one. But I cannot wait to eat these. Here's some more coming up. This is gonna be, this one looks like it's gonna be two in one. Yeah. That is definitely gonna be two flowers in one. So that's gonna be a nice, thick, juicy tomato. I'm getting that out of the pit. I try to weed and prune while I'm out here. So this way I don't have any unexpected growth on my tomatoes, but I have missed some here and there. This one's still small. Okay, some of my tomato plants are still small due to the fact that um, I planted them in my driveway. I do not have a designated garden area right now. So, and I was desperate for a garden so I made sure I got a garden. This is my biggest tomato plant. There's two of them here. This is my brandy wine. That looks like it's gonna be two too. This one right here, looks like it's gonna be two. It's a bigger flower than the rest. These are, I don't remember, the name tags on the ground somewhere. I covered it up, but it's Paul, here we go. Oh, wait, it is called Parks Whopper. I need to get stakes under all of this so say they don't lean. One thing at a time, I really needed a weed. I've got some tomatoes. So I'm really excited about all of those. Those are our Prudence Purples tomatoes. These are my okras. You can actually see them now. They're not lost in the weeds. <sighs> I'm never gonna let that happen again. Ugh. That zucchini is pretty much ready to pick. I'm gonna let it sit on there one more day. I have, I'm off all weekend so I can monitor it. There you go. Hard work gets it all done. Ugh. And nobody wanted to help me this time. I don't know why. Nobody wanted to help me weed the garden. When I first put it in, they were all for it because there wasn't much to do because I'd done all the weeding so I could plant. Oh, people, people, people. They want to eat 
my produce, my tomatoes and all these goodies, but they do not want to help me weed. It makes me think of the chicken and the hen story, you know, or the chicken is a hen, duh. <laughs> the mother hen, where she makes that bread. Nobody wants to help, but they all want to eat. That's what I think about every time, every single time. No one wants to help me in the garden. Oh well, it's well worth it. I'm finished. I'm gonna go chill, relax until this evening. I'm gonna come back out and water. Oh, I love gardening. I love, love gardening. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day.